Just hit this. No, I slept the whole time.
Hello and welcome to the 2024 Cowgirl Shootout, courtesy of the Rose Series. This is the most premier tournament in all of Nashville this weekend as teams from all over the nation, North America, Canada, and uh, there might be a team from Mexico coming soon. We're not sure yet, but uh, we're getting our first look at the Minnesota Girls Black. They are wearing some new uniforms and uh, members of this team include many past champions of the Rose Series as Minnesota Girls Black faces off with the CJR Junior Rangers out of the Connecticut, New York area. Uh, Connecticut Junior Rangers have won this Cowgirl shootout in the past at multiple age groups and I believe only Boston and CJR, as we'll refer to the Connecticut Junior Rangers, have been champions of this tournament. I'd like to say hello and welcome to all of our hundreds of thousands of viewers at home tuning in to see your friends and grandchildren as they do what they love to do. And uh, we're just gonna be zoomed in here on warmups. We'll pan back and forth as we talk a little bit about the tournament. And at that point, we will uh, get right into the game as it begins. So Team Minnesota has seven players that have multiple Rose Series championships and uh, they are on display here, excited to play. Looks like they got a little jump in their step. Uh, the games today, uh, you will be watching the Minnesota Girls Black against the CJR Junior Rangers for the duration of the contest. We will then uh, be talking a little bit about the other games. So on the other rink right now, the Alberta Warriors are playing against Machine Orange, another team from Minnesota, which you'll hear more about and see later. The Manitoba Junior Ice will be playing the Boston Junior Bruins, and the Western Selects will play Toronto Pro Hockey. In the afternoon games, uh, Team Minnesota Purple will be playing against the North Star Elite, that is a team out of Wisconsin. And the BC Junior Lady Canucks will be playing the Alberta Warriors. And your Minnesota Girls Black Elite will be playing against the Machine Orange. So a little bit of a Minnesota Civil War with top players of the state of hockey going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. In the net, we have Kayla Eaton. She is making her debut with the Minnesota Girls Black and uh, very excited to be here with the team. Girls from the Minnesota team go all the way from as north as Warroad down to the metro area with players from you know the lakes of Wyzetta and Orono and all the way down through Lakeville, as far east as Stillwater and St. Croix Falls and as far south as the Rochester area. So these girls span the full distance of the geographic area. A good mix, a great group of girls, parents, players, just really fun to watch these girls do their thing. It's about 45 seconds left in warm-ups. I'm just gonna just gonna pan over and let you see a little bit of the CJR team as they prepare. Well, the buzzer has rang, so the teams will collect the pucks and get themselves ready. It looked like the Minnesota girls had purple pucks out there in warm-ups. Some of these parents just have too much time on their hands.
So once again, this is the Minnesota Girls Black National Elite against the Connecticut New York Junior Rangers. Uh, this is Jack Christian and Billy Donahue on the call. We will be presiding over the contest this weekend as I see some players um, escape the barracks. It looks like it's going to be Brinley Bundy from Lakeville paired with her friend Piper Nyberg, also from Lakeville. Uh, coming up to the dot, looks like number eight, Zoe Neuer. Um, if you've been watching these broadcasts, you know these names. On the right wing, Maeve McDonough from St. Croix Falls. And on the left wing, Adriana Stevens out of Forest Lake. So, looks like we got one more door to shut. We are locked and loaded. Let's have some fun. Puck played back to Bundy. Zoe Neuer collects. CJR tries to work the line. It's a tight rope. Neuer chips and uses her speed to take it in wide. She stops behind the net and looks like it turns into a little bit of a battle here. Puck is played to the far wall. Picked up by CJR. Got size, got speed. Defenseman slips. They're setting up a nice pass in front. It's like just wide. Oh, it's saved by Kayla. Yep, Kayla got a glove on that puck. Mm -hmm. As Piper Nyberg picks one up, chips it in, and Minnesota goes for a line change. Ellie Hardwick and Sydney Christian on the ice. Christian picks up an interception. She steps across the red. She sets up. Little toe drag release off the skate, and Amelia Donahue out of Stillwater plays it with the backhand. Puck comes back again. It's Christian. She's walking right down the slot. She shoots off some red pants. Minnesota's got some jump, but uh, Connecticut Junior Rangers are, look to be strong and skilled. Play behind the net by Connecticut. Chipped up to the wing, past Hardwick. I'm going to try and zoom out a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Puck is behind the net. Breakout pass to Palmer Prosser. Number 51 gets in her grill very quickly. Centering attempt to Preston connects. Addie Preston out of YZ carries across the middle. She gets just outside the curling zone. Tries to fire a shot. It's on net. It's soft and low and stopped. And Brindley Bundy's back on attack. Fast and furious start to this game. If they can keep up this tempo, you guys are really in for a treat at home. It's like Ali Zins is at the blue line as she fires a puck toward the front of the net, stopped by CJR. Puck comes to the front. It's Willow Harns from the Rochester area. Zoe Neuer in there digging. It's like Evelyn Volkers finds the puck. Oh, we've got Willow right in front, wide open. And they find her. Centering attempt goes wide. Ali Zins out of the Centennial area. Just misfires on a D to D pass. But we connect and go weak side and right up the middle. Good puck play there to McDonough out of St. Croix Falls. Met her grandparents last night. Very nice people. Zoe so knew her with the puck. She's a little spark plug of this team. Nyberg holds the line and plays it back to Newer Out in front, maybe McDonough just can't get enough wood on it. CJR picks it up, plays a little bounce play off the back of the net to the weak side, and Minnesota's there with the pinch. CJR again behind the net, trying to figure something out, and it looks like they're going to get free here. But it's turned quickly by Nyberg. Piper tries to slip. Emmy Donahue with a nice angle out. And the puck is chipped deep. Looks like uh, Piper Nyberg is behind the net. She plays it over to Elena Nolander. Elena Nolander moves the puck to Palmer Prosser. Palmer plays it off the wall where Emmy Donahue gets the out. CJR is quick to dump in and Nyberg is quick to turn it the other way. Ali Zins jumps back on the ice as Amelia skates across the crest. 
CJR is just trying to get this puck up to their forwards, and they've, they've successfully done that, but Minnesota is just getting in the way and staying in the play. CJR retreats. She's quickly angled out by Preston. Puck's held by Zins. She jams it, and they chip it deep. So it's going to be a breakout here for Minnesota. Say hi to everybody watching at home in Minnesota. Just know that parents here in Nashville are enjoying themselves. Girls from the Minnesota Black team are going to be uh, planning to do some line dancing, which is kind of fun because the coaches right now are doing a little line juggling. We've seen players come out of both the forward and defensive doors in different shapes and patterns and positions so should be fun girls will be uh gaining a little versatility as zins fires a long shot looks like it hits evelyn once again cjr coming out of their own end preston tries to pin volkers is there puck goes back to bundy player slips puck slip bundy with a shot and Addie Preston gets a little bit of a redirect on that as the CJR goalie easily covers it. So. We're not currently tracking shots, but if I were to guess, I would say shots are about 3-1 to one Minnesota. Face off one by CJR, but pops in front. Maeve McDonough puts a low shot, five hole. Great scoring chance there. I'm going to try and zoom in on some of these face off plays so you guys can see a little, with a little more certainty, what's going on. Digging in at the dot was newer. She and Adriana Stevens are behind the net. CJR is struggling with the pressure a little bit. We'll stay panned in until we break the blue. Okay, yeah, Sydney Christian out there plays the near wall. Looks like they're playing very aggressively. We've seen now it is confirmed delayed offsides for this tournament, which will allow the players to showcase their skills and abilities, but also have to get themselves out of some situations. Christian peels back, hits a nice weak side pass over to McDonough. You do not, oh, McDonough dumps in. She's a player that you don't want to give a lot of time and space to as Amelia Donahue comes in on the four check, blocking the first attempt. Nyberg holds the wall. Centering attempt from Donahue to Prosser, and she just can't get it. Looks like the net gets knocked loose. Great chance there. Just a fantastic centering attempt. The Dark Warrior to the Chaska Chan Stormhawk, Palmer Prosser. We've seen her score some highlight goals in these tournaments, so. Girls just gotta make something connect, so. Warroad's own Hardwick tries to fire. Oh, great pass into the slot, redirected by Prosser, just over the cage. Connecticut Junior Rangers trying to break it out through the traffic, and they do. Corralled by Hardwick. She throws off the far wall. Looks to be a uh, decent clearing attempt. Minnesota seems to be trying to make Connecticut go 200 feet, trying to create scoring chances off of canceled breakouts. And the puck is cleared into the Minnesota zone, and this is going to be icing. So the majority of the play in the offensive zone for Minnesota, Connecticut coaches are scratching their chins but they seem to be very steadfast and confident in their players. 747. Oh, that's a good point there. Billy, Billy's clocking in us in with 747, which is about the speed this game's been moving at. Oh, shot attempt by Volkers. Preston plays it back to Bundy. Bundy jams down the wall, and the girls are going to go play the end wall. We are at the Ford Ice Center in Nashville, Tennessee area. Puck is gathered by Zins. Oh, another a shot stopped in the slot. Volkers tries to do a backhand wrap and just misses the 
open corner. Volkers is back to four check. Looks like they're going to get loose here. Young Speedster goes wide. Oh, Willow on the back check. Oh, Willow with a fantastic back check. Ali Zins collects on the backhand, goes forehand, and Volkers just can't get a stick on it. Minnesota's putting a lot of pressure on. Connecticut runs runs it around. Wheels and rims. Willow might have thought the ref was on our team, but that's okay. Going back to our zone. Sometimes smart plays is open, open ice. Oh yeah, that, the old kick it to space and win the race routine. Looks like Minnesota's going to have to play a little D zone. Bundy plays it to the to the weak side where it's picked up by Maeve McDonough out of St. Croix Falls. Oh, Connecticut gains an advantage here. Short angle shot high and wide. Puck played up the wall by Bundy. Christian comes in. Puck is collected. Players are connecting. These are uh, these are very high level tournaments. So these these players are strong skaters, and they're usually very strong about keeping their feet. But they also want to make sure that they don't call soft penalties in these games. So they're going to allow them to bump and grind a little bit, trade some paint. Usually, when the stick ends up in the legs like that, it's a call every time. But for some reason, they're going to let them play it. It's like. Puck is played down into the Connecticut Junior Rangers zone. They go D to D and back again. So they're sucking the four check in and they're trying to make it there, but we're still keeping three on that breakout. Oh, Minnesota passes to the front, shot just wide by Prosser. Good carry by Connecticut. As she's angled off by two, Prosser picks it up. She dumps on net and it looks like Connecticut wants a face off. So. We will, uh, we will keep the same five out for this one. We've got Elena Nolander from Lakeville on the left wing. Amelia Donahue digging in at the dot out of Stillwater. Right wing, Palmer Prosser from the Chaska Chan area with Ellie Hardwick and Piper Nyberg on defense. Huck won by Connecticut. They get out, we're back in. They look for another way out. Looks like the puck is cleared all the way down. It's going to be another icing. So what became a fast start to this game has now become a little bit clunky. So Minnesota switches up the lines. Looks like Volker's on the left wing. Addie Preston is going to be taking the face off here. Right wing Willow Harns. Ellie Hardwick and Nyberg remain out. The size difference between Addie Preston and Willow Harns is probably our most glaring uh, difference in size of our players. It's just amazing what happens to these girls when they turn 12, 13 years old. Ellie Hardwick steps in, picks up a puck, but tries to go short side high, and Connecticut's goalie reaches over her other shoulder and says, let's try this again. So, Yeah, we are... We are cruising through this period. The icing slowed it down a little bit, but there's uh, four minutes, 25 seconds in the first, still 0-0 zero, zero as a shot from Minnesota produces a rebound. Connecticut good about clearing those out. Puck hits center ice. Nyberg on her forehand, sees pressure, tries to connect a hard pass, and they're going to call that an icing too. So. Yeah. Faceoff will be in the Minnesota zone. We're seeing a change of players. We've got Ali Zins on defense. She's wearing number 68. Adriana Stevens, 77, out of Forest Lake. We've got Maeve McDonough's number 16. Zoe Neuer, number 8 at center. And we have Brinley Bundy, number 96, as Connecticut puts a shot right on the Kayla. They're logo hunting, and they found one. So shots are now six to two for Minnesota, as Connecticut encapsulates the zone. And here comes Zoe Neuer with Maeve McDonough and Adriana Stevens. Zoe snaps a shot just wide. Three on one. Uh, 
Minnesota holding the puck down. Oh, and they they split the defense. We've got a breakaway here. She pulls forehand, backhand, and Kayla's there with a big pad save. That is the Wells Fargo save of the game. Player comes in, breaking through sticks. Got behind our defense. I think Piper and Allie might have just lost her. And a uh, young lady would miss the number, but the light blue gloves comes in. She's shaking her head on the bench right now. She knows that she had a great A chance, but Kayla closed that out quickly. So a big moment for the young goaltender playing her first game with Minnesota, gaining some confidence as Amelia Donahue digs in at the dot. Elena Nolander rushes through as it's one back and up the wall. Christian picks up a loose puck. She makes it through a couple players. She's, she takes a look and she tries to fire one across the zone. They're going to call that icing. So we're going to have to try this again. Just under three minutes, still scoreless in the first period. We're going to try and get you guys a score update on the other game that's going on. We're at the Ford Ice Center off of Antioch on um, two sheets here. Uh, we're in the north rink. Over in the south rink, I believe the Machine Orange 2012 team is playing against the Alberta Warriors. So we're going to do a little, little scoreboard peek at the break and see if we can find out uh, if there's been a goal yet in this tournament as these are the inaugural games. <laughs> Donahue comes in on the four check. Puck played out to center. Christian looks for Nolander. She backhands one right through. Refs are gonna say, play on. Connecticut with numbers as Minnesota changes. They bring out Preston, Harns. Puck back to Bundy. Brindley Bundy grabs the puck, wheels on her forehand. She's a speedy little girl. And she's hitting some linear crossovers. She gets outside the dot lane. Ooh, nice peel back, and we've got a, a shot attempt. Loose puck in front, gets casually steered wide by CJR. Puck comes back to the net, and we're going to have a face-off to the right of the CJR goaltender. Just under two minutes here. Girls would love to go into the break with a lead. They feel like they've probably earned that. But Addie Preston looks to do some damage. She wins it back. Shot high and wide deflection from Evelyn Volkers out of Elk River. As Addie Preston plays one back. CJR's got speed and numbers. And it looks like it's going to be another little tic-tac-toe shot. Save Kayla Eaton. Some quality chances here from CJR late in the period. Our defense need to... Uh, Remain stout and not uh, let these players get behind them. CJR actually connected with two nice passes on that rush. So they walk in and fire one down low. CJR is first to it. Piper Nyberg picks one up. She's flying in. It's a two on three as Volker sidesteps three players back to Nyberg. Shot, low glove side, it's a goal. Piper Nyberg, number 72. Her first game playing with the Minnesota Black Elite. Phenomenal move. Though. Just great Volkers. play. Yeah, Volkers and, and Nyberg. Uh, I love how Nyberg just took the opportunity, grabbed that puck, rushed it up the ice, gave it to Evelyn. Evelyn sidestepped a few players, gave it back. She walked in on her forehand, and she buried that one. So it's one nothing Minnesota with one minute, nine seconds left. It's Maeve McDonough. Grabs a puck. Looks like it's going to be Ellie Hardwick out of Warroad. Deflected to Zoe. We've got speed, and they've got defense. Flipped it around. Maeve McDonough picks one up. Trying to go one on four as our shape shifts into a four check. This coordinated attack we've got is winning us some pucks down low, but this using the D to D pass to escape the pressure. Having a little bit more success breaking it out as this game has continued. Oh, sorry about that. We're having a little cameraman problem. CJR gathers on the forehand. Can't connect on the pass. Ali Zins collects and dumps it back down the wall. Maeve McDonough comes in. She's pressing. 
she cuts off the speed of the breakout. They're going back to the strong side. A missed drop pass is corralled by Donahue. Donahue's looking in front, centering attempt blocked. She stays with it. She's got that puck. Until they take oh, and she's got it back. Amelia's in the house. Just just over the glove of the goalie. Right has the buzzer ring. So a fantastic period from start to finish. Girls are definitely getting pucks to the net. The quality chances just have probably been about even in this game, although the shots heavily favor your Minnesota girls black national elite team. Coach Vince grabs the mic and he's going to break it down. He's got his board out. He's going to maybe remind them that they're trying to get behind our defense. And on the other side, we've got the coaches from the Connecticut Junior Rangers. And they've got their board out too. So they're maybe trying to figure out how to get evade this four check and get some odd man rushes. Jack, why don't you go through who's on the bench for us? You know, a little bit. The Team Minnesota bench is comprised of some very talented coaches. We'll just profile them from right to left. Mr. Steven Nolander, a recent 2012 Minnesota Selects champion coach out of the Lakeville area. Then right next to him is Mike Neuer. Mike is a young, energetic coach. He, the girls love him, and I think he brings a lot of energy to what we're trying to do, and you can see that on the ice. Coach Vince is the mastermind of all of this, putting the, the team together out of girls from all over the state and making sure that nobody's more prepared than us. And on the far right side now is Mr. Jay Hardwick. So he is a varsity multi-sport coach in the Warroad area, which is our farthest northern suburb. Uh, he is the golf coach and the boys hockey coach up in Warroad. You may have heard of that program. one nothing here as Minnesota lines up on your left side. Minnesota's in their brand new black jerseys with purple and white trim, CJR in the white jerseys, classic New York Rangers style. Uh, the numbers and everything, these jerseys are spot on. They all, there's a timeless look, very sharp. Centering attempt to Elena. Back to Emmy Donahue. Donahue gains the zone, plays the puck deep. And we regain on the four check, chipped up to Nolander. Nolander gets over the top. And Minnesota's got two on it down in the corner. Centering attempt, loose puck. Played back in twice. They just can't seem to get the handle on it. Palmer Prosser's had the puck on her stick about three times in the slot. So remember that name because these girls are presenting lots of opportunities. And we know Palmer. She can, she can bury that. So... It's coming. Face off to the goalie's left. Zoe Neuer gets into a low stance. Maeve McDonough on the left. Adriana Stevens flanking the right side over the top back to Stevens. Gets over the stick. It's Ali Zins. Shot hits Stevens. And CJR takes advantage of that mistake. And they are taking the puck wide. They curl. They curl again. Puck is played low. It bounces out front. Hardwick clears to the back and clears to the side. Lazy puck rolls out. Long shot blocked by Neuer. Zins picks it up, gets tied up, and falls. Oh, what a play. boy, Ellie Hardwick with a skate save. So Kayla gets to breathe easy. Zoe's putting some major pressure on. And McDonough takes away the options. Hardwick picks up at the red and smartly dumps as their defense change. Bundy jumps out. Nyberg jumps out for Zins and Hardwick. Bundy plays back to Nyberg. Nyberg's got some room. She takes a walk down the side. Long shot on target. Created a rebound, but Minnesota steps late to collect. Evelyn Volkers with some nice play. Oh, she had Preston wide open in front. But Evelyn's throws a shot right on right on the goalie. So Evelyn's showing some major stick skills there. Yes, Evelyn. And I think she was our leader in uh, in minutes of stick handling before the game. In the four hundred range or something. So 
Evelyn putting in the work off the ice, and it shows her. she drags around a defender. She just didn't see Preston in front, who's a dangerous scorer with a wide reach and a knack for burying the biscuit as the faceoff gets chipped back. Bundy collects on her backhand, it's building speed, bounces one to Willow, trying to get a little give and go, and the pass is behind Bundy. Smacked back by Nyberg. Volkers smartly puts it deep as Willow heads to the bench. Preston on the attack, ties up. Volkers tries a shot. And the puck is played up the wall by CJR. CJR looking to build speed. Instead plays it back and they get trapped in the middle of the ice. Back to the middle of the ice. Generally not a successful place to go through. As Volkers gains again. She's end of shift, but still showing some effectiveness with a long shot off the far pad. Producing for Palmer. Palmer centers something. Oh, Donahue's there. Puts it into the grease pan. But the goalie remains stalwart. The girls are going to have to put together some pretty spectacular scoring plays because I don't think this goalie is going to let anything easy slip through. Okay, we, uh, we've got a scoring update. First period on the south rink is complete between the Machine Orange 2012 and the Alberta Warriors. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. So only one marker out of both of the games today. It was Piper Nyberg burying a shot from an assist by Evelyn Volkers. As the puck is played by Minnesota, they get speed. They go around the D. Left-handed shot, high, blockered up and over and behind the net. Donahue tries to center. Elena Nolander's in pursuit. Oh, CJR with some strong skating. As they get the blue and put it deep, Ellie Hardwick goes to battle for it. She chips D to D. It's Christian. Christian with a breakout pass. Intercepted. Christian up to Palmer. Palmer can't handle it. CJR collects. They go backhand to forehand. And looks like a dumping attempt is blocked. Christian grabs it, peels back. Makes players miss. She's looking to hit someone in space, and it's Adriana Stevens. Stevens with the puck. She curls. Dumps in. Looks like Newer is back there. Dangerous player behind the net trying to win one. <laughs> she bodies a very tall young lady off the puck. Stevens is there to help. She's using their backhand to smack it loose. McDonough joins the fight. We're using three players pretty tight in there, which keeps our defense out of the play. I think our defense may have learned their lesson jumping in the play and giving up some big time chances. Zins fires one out of our zone, collected at center by CJR. A nice pass up to the blue line, girl wheels, fires from the curling circle, it's stopped and covered by Kayla Eaton. So a rare face off in the defensive zone brings a line change. Looks like Addie Preston's gonna be taking this face off. Christian and Nyberg on defense. We've got Willow Harns from Rochester and Evelyn Volkers from Elk River. So face off to the left of Eaton gets one back easily by Preston. Back to Christian. Christian turns. She takes it back the other way. We're missing a wing, but we find Willow. Nyberg's gonna fight for it. She's yeah, they, uh, a tie-up attempt, we'll call it. Nice pass to Willow comes across. Willow tries to slip, and she goes a little bit too long. But we like taking face-offs in the offensive mm -hmm. zone. There's a, there's a big difference when you fight for a puck and you can take a shot versus when you fight for a puck and lose and they get to take a shot. So these offensive zone draws, it'd be fun to see if they could put something together here. Another face-off win by Preston. Back to Volker. She fires. Christian on the pinch. Oh, she misplays a puck, and CJR picks it up with speed. Having some technical issues. There we go. Trying to pan out off that face-off. Preston and Volkers putting some pressure on, but CJR breaks right through. We were on a long change there as Palmer Prosser joins the fight. 
and a shot. Great blocker save by Kayla Eaton. The player just kind of got loose during a line change, took an open lane to the net. We've got to uh, we've got to seal up some of these leaks. Another line change opportunity for CJR. Oh, as she smartly plays a backhand pass to the back door. It just gets blocked. Great settle down with the puck. Yeah, these these uh, Connecticut Junior Rangers players play with a lot of poise and a lot of skill. As a puck gets centered on and Prosser's there. Decent shot attempt, great rebound chance, but we're just a second late for that. Some nimble moves from number eight as she is just a engineering these breakouts for CJR. The CJR bench is buzzing like a beehive. They got players jumping in, jumping out, a well-timed offensive zone yes. occupation. Post it up. Amelia Donahue picks up a puck, plays it to the wing. Strong pitch. Nolander can't evade the wall work by CJR's defense. Their defense are starting to get more involved in this game. As Amelia Donahue ties up the would-be CJR attacker. Puck bounces loose to Zins. Zins has a lane. Looks like Zins is going in. Palmer's going to go change. It's going to be one on four with the centering attempt to Amelia. Smartly went to the net. Long shot. Blockered wide. Coming up on eight minutes left. We're about halfway through the game. Still one nothing Minnesota. Numerous chances for both teams in this game. Bundy with a good back check. Stevens is there. Zinn steps wide, fires to Donahue. Donahue. Oh, sorry, Mc, McDonough with a pass back to Adriana Stevens. And she fires into a skate. Oh, and they just, just narrowly avoid another breakaway play. CJR goes D to D. Strong side, Maeve McDonough picks it up. Stevens can't handle, but she gets a second chance. Things are setting up for Zoe Neuer. She's tied up in front and CGR regains. Evelyn Volkers comes in and angles out. Nyberg with a sweep check and Zoe's in space. Let's see what she can do. Oh, it's a three on one as they break the blue with three. Zoe pulls back, tries to center. Number 38 from CJR says, I'll take that. That's Evan, our stick handling champ, down on the right side in the corner. She's looking in front. She sets something up nice for Ellie Hardwick. Hardwick with a, oh, knee high shot blocked and corralled by the goalie. So tough play in front. Smart play by Evelyn. Yeah, the first, Evelyn's looking around in front of the net and finds one of her defensemen wide open. Hardwick puts a hard shot on, and we're there hanging and banging. So. Girls just need to whack them all, double this lead. Preston at the dot, wins it back. She's our face-off champ. A bouncing shot from Volkers finds pads and goes back to the corner. Hardwick keeps that blue as Preston and Willow come in. Ooh, puck is jammed up the wall. And CJR picks it up. We're outside of the zone. There's a nice hook right now. Yeah, the, CJR is doing what they can do to win these pucks, but uh, it's been kind of a back and forth game as Preston's in space. She's got speed. She's got strength. Just dumps it back. Elena Nolander out of Lakeville is playing the wall, tries to come out the hash mark and got her stick popped as Hardwick surfs. Christian pulls to her backhand. She's tied up, kicking it along. And CJR tries to break it out the strong side. Looks like a potential offside there as Christian finds some space and cuts to the middle. Long shot by Christian from the top of the slot is easily gloved, but that allows us a change. Looks like both teams are going to send a fresh five in as we're just under six minutes in the second period. What we're seeing now is a goalie change for CJR. So awesome that number 44 played amazingly and got to end on a fun glove save. It's an interesting move with how strong she was You never know what the plan is for these teams in the tournament when they have multiple goalies. Um, will they split games? Will they play certain goalies against certain teams? Do they have any plan? Are they going to remain fluid? Are they going to stick to their plan? Are they going to change it? That's, that's where the coaching and uh, decision making really comes in. Is, Bundy comes in, so we'll we'll monitor that situation. The 
new Connecticut Junior Rangers goalie. Has orange pads with a metallic orange stick and helmet. White glove and blocker. As Palmer Prosser comes in hard on the four check and angles out the skillful and speedy number eight. Puck is sent back again. Nice breakout pass by CJR, and they're not afraid to play it across the ice. In fact, this team plays it either straight up the ice vertically or straight across the ice horizontally. <laughs> it's very, very interesting patterns. And thrown on to Kayla. Bundy picks it up. She tries to send it up the wall. Centering attempt blocked back to number eight. It's poked free by Palmer. Palmer Prosser was the 12A state tournament participant, as were a few other players from this Minnesota Black Elite. That's Hardwick, another state tournament participant, joins the party. Zoe tries to skate through number 27, but just can't gain. McDonough closes gaps. There's not a lot of space out here. Number 18 from CJR gets stopped as Adriana shows off a nice bit of stick handling and gets the puck deep smartly. Puck rolls to the close side as we near four minutes in the second period. Still 1 0 Minnesota. Newer plays it across to Stevens. Stevens with some, with a long shot from the D, got caught in somebody's pants and played aside. So this, this line of McDonough, Newer, and Stevens has been effective with some strong forechecking as Nyberg re enters the chat. Pulls it to her backhand behind the net and tries a centering attempt, but it goes to CJR. So they've got a three on one if until Piper hustles home. Oh, nice angle out by Hardwick. She's a warrior. She didn't get pushed out on the ice as CJR narrowly avoids having a two on all. So we've got a. These second period changes are always tough as your bench is so far from your D zone. You really got to be crafty getting defensemen out on the ice. Face-off in the offensive zone will be by Preston. Preston's about 99% on face-offs, and she's got Volkers, who's a shooter. Puck goes to the middle. It's a scrum, and Willow knocks it deep. Defense curls. Looks on her forehand. There's nobody there. Christian decides to join the party. Oh, she centers to Willow. Willow on the short side. Love the play. Very unselfish play here as Bundy fires a shot just wide. Christian's back. She pulls to the middle. Things get a little more congested when you get to the middle of the ice. It's kind of a no-fly zone. There's nobody. Connecticut playing very good defense. They're not letting anybody just walk in. All these opportunities are earned. As Christian sidesteps a defender and throws something wide. Bundy's there. So our defense are now getting more involved at the play. Bundy's down low. She's got two on, and she's got Evelyn Volkers over the top. Puck squirts loose. We've got three below the goal line. And now we're sending a fourth. And <laughs> Sydney Christian comes in. Plays to the front. Oh. Oh, four players from Minnesota down low, trying to get it to the front of the net. It's just not adding up. It's Willow with an excellent back check. Hardwick's there to back her up. Kayla says... Let's take a minute and see what's going on here. So we're two minutes left in the second period here at Antioch. Line coming out to the ice is Palmer Prosser, Elena Nolander, and Amelia Donahue. We've got Ali Zins and Ellie Hardwick on defense. We hope to provide these broadcasts with some fun facts about the players whether they're true or not, maybe some interviews. So we're going to try and add some value to our programming. And uh, as, as the puck gets played through the slot, kind of a no-go zone as Emmy Donahue clears it out. CJR pushes past Hardwick. Gathered. Oh, they're calling it offsides. Not oh, wow. sure about that one, but takes away a pretty good chance. That one seemed like it was a uh, a mistake in the making as Minnesota's trying to trying to pinch on our own blue line. And a, a simple board bump created a two-on-one. Hardwick remains stout. Elena plays one back, and CJR's there. 
Ali Zins play, tries to play to center. CJR is winning a lot of battles on the walls. Something to keep an eye on here. Puck is down low. Skillful player. Cuts. Hard. Sweep check by Hardwick. Gets the puck up. Nice pass up to Prosser. Palmer Prosser, number nine. Tries to get around. Hand stays down. Yeah, gets too much pressure. Centering attempt by Nolander. She tries to return it herself. As Zoe Neuer enters the chat. She wheels to her forehand. She's got some heel cuts. She throws it up the middle. And Piper Nyberg with a one-timer, and it's in the net. Piper Nyberg scores her second goal of the game. It was tipped by somebody in front, I saw. But I don't know if it was yeah, puck to flex off somebody's oh, skate. It's Palmer. Palmer's claiming it. But uh, excellent work on the forecheck. Zoe Neuer picks up a puck, throws a few heel cuts, gets it out to the blue line. So some good chances created by both Neuer and Volkers by getting the puck to the blue line and letting the big dogs fire the howitzer. Face off at center. McDonough, Neuer, Stevens, Nyberg, and Bundy. Fun fact, uh, the association in Minnesota that has the most players on this Minnesota girls black elite team is Lakeville. El Elena Nolander is a forward on the team. And then the defensive pair that you're watching right here, number 96 and number 72, uh, they're also Lakeville. So they were very close to getting into the state tournament. I believe they lost a heartbreaker in the region tickets finals. And, uh, but they're back, they're here to prove it. Well, we're under 30 seconds left in the game as Nyberg collects. She wheels up. Tries to throw it to Newer. Newer can't handle. Peeled back by CJR. Number 27's got some nice moves. She plays across the blue, where it's picked up by CJR again. They're trying to play these passes at the blue line. I would think you'd want to just get pucks deep with 30 seconds. Newer comes into the zone with a little bit of a gap. Seconds are counting down, and it looks like that's going to be all for the second period. So Minnesota doubles their lead. The shots are, well, we don't have an exact count, but Minnesota has a lot of shots, but the quality chances are starting to trend in Minnesota's favor, although CJR is making plays. We see some, some other teams lining up in their garments, ready to uh, go out and prove themselves. It's always fun to watch the other games and wonder who you're going to play next. I believe these are players from the Manitoba Junior Ice, so this isn't just a a national championship on the line for the teams competing here. There's 11 total teams, but uh, it's more of a North American championship, wouldn't you say, Billy? Mm -hmm. I would say so. Billy has taken a tour of Canada and come back with a championship in the past where they battled through teams from Manitoba, British Columbia, Alberta, and, BC. and uh, was it the, uh, Man the Manitoba Tall Stars? Tall Stars, and then the, the VC. Um, the Lady Canucks, is that right, Billy? Lady Canucks, and I think, they're, I think they're in this tournament also. So the Lady Canucks, which we have not seen since, I believe we played them in Irvine, California, or, and uh, haven't seen them in the Rose Series since. So it'll be interesting to see if they come with a little more firepower as Minnesota confidently flies out the hive. It's Christian, Newer, Stevens. We're flipping a coin. Oh, McDonough gets one. And it's like we're going to start with Hardwick. Fun. Another fun fact, this pair of Hardwick and Christian, uh, this is representing Orno and Warroad, two schools that have played for the girls' high school championship in the past with their older sisters. So fun to see how Minnesota comes together to represent themselves on the biggest stage. Setting aside petty differences as Christian wheels, pulls wide, throws one up to McDonough in her skates. Maeve McDonough with some physical play. She's got the puck and she's ridden off it. Stevens is there, but gets sidestepped. CJR with a strong piece of skating as they try a centering attempt, but Hardwick with the hard stick. Ellie Hardwick plays up to Stevens. Stevens kicks it up. 
She gets stopped at the blue line. Sydney Christian steps in the way, plays back to her friend Allie. Allie with a sidestep. So Connecticut putting some pressure on in the neutral zone. As a pass comes to him, Emmy Donahue, she opens up and fires into the hands of number 16, a well-placed defenseman as the puck bounces again through the slot. Elena Nolander is there. Bundy is there. The puck goes down the wall. It's going to be Christian against number 38 as puck gets played wide and deep by Christian and then back up the wall. Amelia Donahue is there to pick it up. Sheboard bounces to get a breakout. Palmer comes in, but Brindley Bundy is going to have to dig us out of this one. Long pass to her teammate Elena. Beautiful centering attempt to Donahue. And one more just can't quite connect on it, but they end up getting it through and it comes back. Nice hard shot. Looks like the first scoring attempt from Minnesota on this uh, second goalie from CJR. So that looked like it was kind of a uh, Lakeville to Lakeville to Lakeville once Amelia set him up. Brindley and Piper on D. Palmer gets the puck off the faceoff win by Donahue. Palmer fires a long shot, blocked. They chip to the blue. Nice yeah, very. Within 10 feet of the blue line is a very high turnover zone, but these teams seem to be very skillful at making passes through that zone. As CJR tries a centering attempt off the heels of their hard charging center, number 55, she gathers and gets ridden off by Donahue. Long shot blocked, still bouncing. Nyberg confidently collects. Nyberg plays one off Donahue's stick to Nolander. Nolander is outnumbered and gets the puck deep as Preston comes into work. <laughs> puck is thrown up the middle twice. And Minnesota, and a little bit of a tic-tac game as Preston says, let me show you guys how to do this. She tries to get a puck deep. Sticks from Connecticut are well placed. CJR slips. Evelyn Volkers picks it up, brings it to the front of the net. A second centering attempt. A third centering attempt is in front, and Willow can't quite get it on as she's being tied up. A very physical play. Long shot, blocked, and Preston is there. Preston with a size mismatch. And the puck gets played back into Minnesota's zone, so no penalties so far in this game. Not that the coaches probably aren't asking for some. Preston picks up a nice pass from Hardwick. Just straight up her tail on her backhand and corrals it like it was uh, like a sticky puck. Christian takes a surf at it. And looks like Bundy gets ridden to the front of the net, but a spinorama shot goes wide to the close corner, and they're in close quarters. Newer, back to Christian. Christian wheels, did a little overlap. The pony play to Brinley Bundy, who uses her speed and tries to chip to Willow. Looks like we've got things are starting to happen here, but Christian goes back to retreat. Quick shoulder check to identify the pressure. She turns the other way. Puck played to Willow. Willow tries to get to Zoe. Zoe plays it across to Evelyn. Evelyn Volker is first time playing with the girls black national elite squad out of minnesota chip behind the net to zoe zoe's playing it around she finds her friend mave with a spinning attempt puck is played once again up the wall minnesota is there but it still sneaks past connecticut's got speed here they're coming in on the zone quick stick pop shot hits the post Minnesota gets off the hook with that one. Some A little bit of a defensive uh, mismatch there and speed. And boy, Kayla, Kayla gets a little puck luck. Long pass from CJR. Chip to the middle. It's a two on one, forehand to forehand. They slip it back. It's an easy slip and tuck for CJR. So the. Momentum is trending their way as we've got a uh, got a little bit of a hockey game all of a sudden here. So Minnesota making a, a few mistakes and having to pay the price for them. 
It's 11.15 p.m. Central Time here. Two to one game with 10 minutes in the third period. Minnesota on the right side in black. Connecticut Junior Rangers on the left side in white with red and blue. Almost a 1980s vibe, makes me think of uh, Mike Leach and Mark Messier when they won the cup in 94. Donahue picks one up, plays it back to Bundy. Bundy tries her speed, but there's nowhere to go. She's tenacious though, as she comes up with it as they jam back. Palmer tries to find some space and get it to Donahue, but to no avail. This speedy little Connecticut player has had some uh, fun plays to watch as she comes up the near wall and evades a sweep check by Nyberg. Tries to go short side and play just over the net. Nolanders reaching, picks one up. Palmer gets tied up. Donahue goes through. We're on the wrong side of the puck again and a little over aggressive here. I think the girls just would do well to stay between the puck and the net. Kind of trying to do a little too much as Donahue gets a chance to show her solo skills. Pulls wide and just a little beyond her control, but smartly gets us the change. Can Minnesota encapsulate the zone? Harns gains. Back to Hardwick, up to Volkers. Harns again slides one in to see what's going on. Nothing to be had. So an offensive zone draw with 8.37 left in the third. Let's see if Minnesota can find some more magic. Definitely a highlight goal from CJR there as they go forehand to forehand on a two on one and tuck it in behind a sprawling Eaton. Drive by play to Volker. She pushes on her forehand, plays it back to Ali Zins out of Centennial. Ali Zins fires a wrist shot wide. Picked up by Willow to Preston. Preston tries to play one to Volkers. Volkers is there to pick it up on the other side. Evelyn Volkers takes a look. Oh, she fires one through the slot intended for Willow Harns. Nothing happening in front of that net. They've got it locked down. Preston tries to find it. She chips it down low. She's looking in front. Hard pass deflected. And Zins is going to pick it up at center ice. Zins tries to turn it. She chips a backhand pass over in Willow's direction, but no connection. Long pass from CJR dribbles in on Kayla. She handles that to no problem. I apologize for the shaky camera. I'm going to try and do a little bit better for everybody viewing at home. Face-off is Zoe Neuer with Maeve McDonough on the right side. Adriana Stevens is in the center of the ice. They tie up, and CJR wins the draw. A shot is blocked. Stevens loses her stick, and CJR's play out of the corner is blocked by Zoe Neuer. Zoe falls. CJR is trying to set something up here. They go back to the D. Defensive shot blocked. Christian steps up, steps back, peels around, tries to delay and create some more space for her teammates, and a nice stretch pass to Zoe puts her in a good position to gain. And there's no penalty called, but it looks like a pretty aggressive physical play. We like that stuff, though. Maeve McDonough is back. Brindley Bundy is back with her pickpocket play. Stevens holds up. It's all Bundy. Bundy fires a low shot, tries to put in her own rebound. Wow, a fantastic play from young Brinley. Brinley is one of the seven players, legacy players, of trying to collect a third championship at the Rose Series. Line change is made, and Stevens gains a loose puck. She fires into the glove. It's loose, collected by CJR and back in by Hardwick. The forecheck is coming in now. It's Nolander and Donahue with Nyberg over the top. Palmer sees a chance to jump in. She goes to the middle. We got two in the middle. Palmer with the puck on her stick. Donahue jams. Looks to be loose. Now I think they're going to say it's probably covered. So 
pretty good chance there for Minnesota. Four check on this group with uh, Donahue, Nolander, Par Prosser, McDonough, really creating a lot of chances. Elena had like a foot and a half long pass to Emmy there. Yeah, it just freed that up and put a little little mini. Yeah, these, these cutesy little putt-putt passes in front of the net are creating micro one-timers. Still a two-to-one game as Hardwick gathers and fires a hard high shot just wide of the net. Nyberg closes in on the action and stops it with her backhand. They jam it up the wall. They're really forcing the puck. And Donahue says, if you don't want it, let me show you what I can do with it. She centers one. Palmer almost gets another one in. That was sweet, just lean in there. Sometimes you just got to put it in front of the net. It can't always be an Instagram highlight. You put pucks in front of the net. If you want goals, go to the polls. 536 left, Jack. Boy, we're closing in on uh, what's going to be the end of a really good game here with about five minutes left as Preston wins another faceoff Volker. shot. And it's Volkers. Evelyn Volkers. From Addy Preston on the faceoff play, they're flipping the wings and running a little bit of a drive-by where the center is just drawing it back, and Evelyn's firing a shot in there without the goalie seeing it as they buzz the tower. Goal, Minnesota. Those of you watching at home, we know you love it when we take a 3-1 to -one lead with five minutes left. Minnesota feeling very confident. I don't think the goalie saw that. Yeah, the, the whole idea of that play is getting the shot off before you see the goalie because then the goalie doesn't see you. So now you see me, now you don't as Preston ties up. Hardwick plays up to Volkers who chips through. Volkers with a nice touch on the puck. She stays with it. She's behind the net and she plays to Preston. Preston plays to Nyberg. Nyberg puts it on her forehand. No look shot. Backdoor stop by Evelyn Volkers. Volkers plays up. And I think a little bit of a misfire as CJR gets involved. And it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one here. Number 38 from CJR is coming in. She presses wide. She shoots. She might not have known she had some help there. And a second attempt is steered wide. Nyberg ties up. Bundy's in the corner. We've got there. Bundy picks up the front of the house. And Minnesota's just trying to batten down the hatches now. So our defensive zone play has been a little bit off the shapes and some over aggressiveness and trying to do a little too much sometimes instead of just making the simple play. Preston uses a board bounce to escape and she's headed for the bench. Willow Harns pressures the puck. It's up the middle. It's picked up by Hardwick. Hardwick up to McDonough. Maeve McDonough's got Zoe with her. She's on her backhand as she cuts to the middle, and she goes forehand. She tries to shoot short side high. It's loose. She tries another chip, and this goalie is doing a great job of just keeping the scoreboard down and keeping the pucks under her glove. 4.13. Just get a little face-off action here. Oops. CJR picks up a puck, another dangerous two-on-one as she slides the puck over, but blocked by Allie Zins. Hardwick collects. She slides one up to Stevens. Stevens looks far side. Plays one to McDonough. Long shot by McDonough. We're delayed off, and now we're on. Stevens tries to angle out. No lander speed matches. Stevens picks up the loose change and tries to slide one through to her friend Emmy Donahue. Oh, yeah. Donahue puts the puck deep for Nolander. Nolander looks to center. Oh, she goes with a wraparound. Some of these plays that used to not be very fashionable, like shooting short side high and doing wraparounds, are starting to seem that players have more success with it. And these are plays that are once thought selfish or dangerous. And now when you're in a tight game looking for goals, uh, any port in a storm. So go for it, Elena. CJR looks to break it out on the strong side. Palmer's there. She fires it down low with a strong stick. And looks like the puck is cleared all the way back. They're going to make him play it. So Christian gathers. She's got speed, and she evades four checker number one and passes up to Palmer. Palmer spins, and the puck goes to the D. Palmer's back on it. 
Palmer tries to play to Donahue, intercepted by CJR. Minnesota's pressuring with Palmer Prosser. Long pass blocked. Prosser sends one deep. Smart play. Volkers is on the attack. Christian on the blue line. Christian holds. Second attempt, gathered by Addie Preston. Addie Preston is a multi-sport athlete. She's also a fantastic soccer player. Puck back to Christian. Christian walks it in. Fires a long shot off the glove. Don't know if our, our net front presence was aware that puck was coming in. Oh, a nice play from Hardwick up to Volkers. Volkers got a hot stick today. She just dumps one net side and lets Preston pick it up. Preston centers a no-look backhand pass to the front. That's pretty fun. Volker spins and evades a check. Back to Hardwick. Hardwick with a long shot. Gloved by the CJR goalie. Well, we're one minute and 38 seconds left in the contest. Third period at Ford Ice Center in Nashville. It's a three to one lead for the Minnesota girls. Black national elite. Face off by Zoe Neuer. She tries to spin. McDonough plays it deep. Zoe grabs it. She goes backhand to forehand. Looks at Ellie. Oh, and the puck is centered in front of the net. They're unable to... Uh, Great effort to yeah. get that centered. I'm having a little trouble there. Zoom here. I'm just going to stay zoomed in and try. There we go. Puck is to Maeve. Maeve does a little toe drag. And Minnesota ends up with the puck on Zoe's stick. Adriana Stevens on the four check. Oh, Brinley Bundy with an excellent pinch. Oh, she takes it to the front of the net, and they try and chip and bang. We're at the age where the girls start uh, realizing how important it is to attack the net, but also to protect your goalie. So you might see a little more pushing and shoving this year than the previous seasons of the Rose series. There's one minute left to play. And Zoe's seeing another draw in the offensive zone. Puck gets played back to Bundy. Bundy, long shot. It's in. Bundy scores from the blue line. So we've got... We've got goals by Nyberg, uh, Volkers, Bundy. I'm not sure if the other goal was Nyberg or Prosser. There was a deflection in front, but we're going to say four goals from four different scorers based on her lead position, high fiving the bench. Palmer's saying that uh, she's on the sheet. So, always fun when you have a varied, balanced attack. Nyberg over to Bundy. Bundy grabs. She spins. She backhands back to Nyberg. Stevens has the puck. CJR makes a breakout play to the wing. Centering attempt blocked by Maeve. A second attempt gathered by Nyberg. Nyberg up to Stevens. Stevens crossing the line, crosses the line. Backhands deep. They're playing this out with 15 seconds left to go. Puck is played up by CJR. No opportunity to get the goalie out with a nice offensive occupation as Hardwick gathers. Hardwick centers up to Zoe. Zoe up to Elena. Elena, Elena everything the girls had today, they put it on the ice. They showed a lot of skill. They played together. Made a few mistakes, which were costly, but in the end, it was a 4-1 to finish for Minnesota Girls Black. These 2012s are an outstanding bunch, and they're going to play a second game today. Um, games of the afternoon slate, just a reminder, we've got um, the Team Minnesota Purple will be playing against the North Star Elite. Nice the BC Junior Lady Canucks will be playing the Alberta Warriors at 3.50 p.m. And your Minnesota Girls Black National Elite will be playing against Machine Orange at 5 p.m. in the State of Hockey Civil War. So tune in to see top players from the State of Hockey face off.
until then, it's so long from Minnesota Broadcasting Company. Thank you for joining us. Have an awesome day.